trance states, what are they and are we constantly in them? There is definitely a spectrum of electromagnetic radiation, most of which beyond visible light at the fastest and sound waves at the slowest, we tune out. But is there a similar spectrum of conscious states of awareness that our ego passes between along a sliding scale from emotionally low and depressed to emotionally high and manic, which we simply tune out the rest of, depending on which trance or mind state we are in at any given moment? Or, put differently, does the ego pass through a more or less fixed cycle of finite possible emotions, manic depression, in a flow of time that is that it experiences as a series of momentary drops in the same way that, for example, the tides rise and fall due to the proximity of the moon's gravitational pull? If the emotions are pulled like the tides, then is it still the moon itself that causes this? The average menstrual cycle in female wombed mammals seems to indicate some affinity with the monthly luminosity of the moon as it revolves around the earth although a direct correlation remains elusive. There are, indeed, varying degrees of intensity of a trance state of consciousness that exceed the normal spectrum of cognition and behavior of which we are usually aware in our mundane, sober, daily routines. For example, one feels a certain way while working a dead-end job all week, and then drinks alcohol on the weekend in order to feel differently. If the job setting is dull, then the person will drink for fun. Both of these conditions induce trance states of consciousness, albeit at polar opposite ends of the spectrum from one another. The difference being that the situation of the job induces a trance of boredom onto one from without and against their will while the condition of drinking alcohol on the weekend induces a trance of false euphoria inside oneself due to their voluntary act of drinking. However, there are even more extreme states of trance consciousness one can experience than simply working a dead-end job and getting drunk on the weekends. The mind can hallucinate when exposed to certain entheogenic plant medicines or their psychoactive ingredients in extract tinctures, and both see and hear objects, events, and even lifelike beings that are purely the products of their own imaginations. Likewise, on the other end of the spectrum of such trans-consciousness mind states, one can totally psychically dissociate from their physical body to such an extent their ego or primary self-concept blacks out and experiences missing time while a second self or alter persona takes over control of the person's body. This extreme dissociative state is usually associated with trauma or with ketamine abuse or heroin addiction chemically. <laughs> 